we are here at Crow Park. It's even stick Northern Premier League action live as Bryce Spartans play host to Chorley FC. It's Johnny Hall alongside Spartan senior press officer Mark Quillers. And it applies taking up that 4 3 3 formation today, Mark. Uh, how important has that been to success at home this season? It's a, it's a formation that Tom and Colin favour, and it's a formation that's got us a lot of success, and uh, a formation that I hope will carry on to give us success. Wait for Watson. Watson tries to flick it on uh, for Dan McGuire, but actually Teague is there waiting for him. And then Teague looks to set away a brilliant run in here from Dale Whitman. Great challenge. Oh, great challenge by Nathan Buddle. But Jack Dorney it was in the end. And that will go for Charlie's first corner in the game. It's yeah. going to be a free kick with Paul Jarvis. The set piece expert stands over just inside the Spartans' half. The line on the edge of the box. Comes all the way through for Whitham. Whitham helps it on. It's in the feet of Teague. He's onside. Teague plays it across goal. And uh, I think Sean Utterson's put it into his own goal. Jolly take the lead at Croft Park. It was Andrew Teague who found himself through on goal. He just played it across. Connor Connor was nowhere to be seen. And uh, I don't. I think it was Sean Utterson on goal. Uh, didn't have a lot much to do other than put it in his own net. Well, Spartans haven't started poorly here. They've got the goal behind, but they're, they're still well in the game. Jarvis, who's just been booked, is coming forward with the ball here over halfway. Looking for the run from Jack Dorney. It's going to be cut out touch. by Utterson, but only as far here as Cotterell. Cotterell helps it back on, looking for Widom. Widom with the strike. Great save from Connor Grant to turn it past the post. And it's over a corner. Yeah, good serve there, Connor. Not a great strike from Widom. He's got more time, and I think he, he realised then he's really hooked at the ball and pretty comfortable for Connor Grant, but a corner ball. Actually, over to this one as Wim swings this corner in. Hooks looks to clear, but he falls into Cottrell's feet. Cottrell helps him back on and falls to Whitman in the end. Whitman just places it across goal, and Conor Graham has to palm it away. And in the end, Utterson will clear. Grant clears long. Ray tries to flick the header one to Daly, does well to bring it under control. Needs some support. Look inside for Horner. Horner helps Ooh. it on for Matthew Wade. Wade for Hooks. Hooks back for Horner. Horner in a bit of space. Tries to go. Oh, it. Deserve that McGuire for his hard work up front. It's a great ball through from Horner. And Spartans on even terms. Great finish from McGuire. Who else but Tom McGuire right on the stroke of hard time. Spartans are level in this game. It was a brilliant ball through from Horner. Just laid it on a plate for Dan McGuire. Who gets goal number 19 for the season. And uh, does well to get himself away from Andrew Teague. Needs a bit of support. Looks inside on the edge of the box. Tries to switch it across to have it in Watson. Watson takes it brilliantly. Oh, the referee's time of the challenge. And wins himself a free kick right this on the edge of the D. As we hit the 47th minute, this will no doubt be the final action of the first half. It's Hooks landing it up. So is Robbie Dale. It's Hooks to take it. Right on the stroke of half time. What a free two goals in two minutes. Neil Hooks just placed it past the wall, past Sam Ashton, and into the back of the net. And from absolutely nowhere, Spartans lead. That is a great free kick from Hooks. That far corner looked inviting, and he certainly hit it. The keeper stood no chance there. Questions about the wall. Was it set up correctly? I'm not sure it was, but it's a great finish from Hooks. Second goal of the season. It's going to be flicked on by Dorney. It falls to James Dean. Dean tries to help it on. Danny Parker does well to intercept. And now, listen, we'll clear. Handball. Claims for handball. Referee's playing advantage as a. Uh, Dan McGuire comes away with the ball. He's got about six players around. Oh, well and plays it out to the left-hand side here for Robbie Dale. Dale looked to get past Wormsley. Does well. Skips it on to his right. He's going to have a strike across Ooh. the goal. It's going to be punched away by Ashton. And uh, cleared by Mark Ross. And out for Spartan Strike. No, it's not. Now it is. <laughs> That's a great kick. It's a great kick. But uh, Jarvis wins the header. Watson tries to help him back on into Dan McGuire's path. But uh, he'll clear again. <laughs> Dean will hit to the feet. Oh, Nathan Buddle's played the ball off here. Jack Dorney. Johnny tries to play it across. Great, Great save from Conor Grant as Josh Hine was coming in. 
And then Kendrick should be able to clear. Great save, Conor Grant. <laughs> and Danny Parker's gone up. But Nathan Bedell stays back as Dan McGuire looks to swing this corner in. Spartans aren't done with the scoring yet. It swings it right into the air. Lead by three goes to one. A striker's finished from the central defender. And surely now that means Spartans are walking away with a vital three points. They all go over to congratulate the goal scorer. And surely I've just been on Tucker Croft Park. It's a, it's a great ball in from Maguire, it's a lovely header from, from Dan Parker, good connection, flicked it in the far corner, what a goal that is, second goal for the club and, and, and really, really deserved for a great run of form recently from the lad. 15 seconds of the three minutes allocated to play, you'd probably think that would be the last chance. As everybody waits full time, there's the full time whistle, an absolutely massive win for Bly Spartans. They found themselves behind early on uh, because it was shown as their own goal. Right on the stroke of half time, Dan McGuire equalised just before half time. A wonderful free kick from Neil Hooks uh, took them into half time by two goals to one. Probably undeserved, but in the second half, they really, really worked there. <laughs> and uh, Dan Parker just summed up the performance with a wonderful header. And uh, Blythe take all three points. Yeah, deserved the win. You're right, the work rate was outstanding. Second half, fair play. The Chorley fans have come up. Good luck to them for the rest of the season. Um, I've no doubt we won't be playing them next season, but, you know, Blythe Spartans 1 to 11, 1 to 16. Brilliant. Right, Nathan, 3 uh, 1 win against what many people think is a league uh, favourites. Definitely, um, I think without a doubt when we played down there, we, we came away from that game thinking, you know, they, they are the best team we've played this season. And uh, we came into it, you know, sat in the changing rooms before the game, we thought we'll, we'll give it a good go, and that's exactly what we did. To get the two goals before half time, and like, you know, we just had a battle for the whole first half, and then to grab them right at the end, I think it was really kicking the teeth for them, and we just kicked on from there, the second half. And at 2-1, there's, there's big moments in any any game, but how big was that Conor Grant save? Uh, well, he pulled me right out of it, really, yeah. I just remember the ball came back, I've tried to clear it, and it's, it's took a lucky nick off the 11, and there was no way I was catching him, so when the balls went across and Conor's made the save, it was absolutely brilliant, like, top draw stuff. This young side are developing throughout this season, but how big a moment is this in the development of the, the squad? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, as soon as we went back to the change rooms, everyone's up at height, you know, that it just shows how much they mean. Uh, everybody, everybody's like enjoying it, and to get a result like that, like you say, against one of the best teams in the league, easily, you know, it's just a massive confidence boost. And against one of the most awkward strikers in the league, Mark James Dean, you've really done a decent job on him today. Yeah, um, I was pleased with myself, uh, you know, I knew it was going to be a tough test there from when watching him down there. He's, he's physical, he just wants to get in your face, but I knew if I you know, get, won the first couple of exchanges, uh, I would keep on topping for the rest of the game. Well, Connor, you've been out of the team for a, a spell, come back in and played a key part in a big win against probably the league favourites. Yeah, yeah, it was a good win. Obviously, I'm pleased to be back in playing. Hopefully, I can keep my place this time. I was very disappointed to lose it last time, but you know, it's a big three points for the boys. I think we thoroughly deserved it. And it's a challenge now for you to make sure you keep a hold of that number one spot. Yeah, like I said, I was very disappointed last time, but you know, hopefully if I can keep playing like that, then there's no excuse to put me out of the team, so I just need to keep doing what I'm doing. And how big a moment is it for, for yourself and for the squad to, to get a victory like this? Yeah, it was a huge victory. You know, we were under the cosh for quite a lot of the game, but you know, I think it just showed, just showed the character that we've got this season. Just hung in there, got two quick goals at the end of the first half, and I think we deserve the three points in the end. And last season, two of the lads who you faced there, and Jack Doney and James Dean, played a key part in destroying us here for Fylde. Uh, but the back four they had yourself have, have really put a shift in. It must be great to have a unit in front of you like that. Yeah, yeah, the back four were superb. I think Buddle and Parker had big James Dean in the back pocket, really. Didn't really cause a threat, so yeah, different class. And for the rest of the season, a playoff push now on? Yeah, like I said, we just need to keep that momentum going. It's a big win today. You know, should be favourites for every game here at home. Like I said, we're beating the league favourites. Shouldn't fear anyone. Just crack on with it. Hopefully, be in the playoffs at the end of the season. Right, Tom. Um, as a, a blithe lad uh, who's been through thick and thin with the club, how great is it to see a performance from a team that you manage like that? Well, to be honest, it was um, 
Uh, performance, which you know, second half we were absolutely superb, and I, and I, I spoke to um, the manager after the game, and he was full of praise for a, you know a, a young, experienced side. You know, um, but we, you know, second half we showed that we were a very good side at home. Um, but you need to take that in the away games, but the atmosphere was brilliant. The lads never stopped. The three midfield players were absolutely. I know the back four is going to get loads of praise, but the three midfield players were superb. Um, if you go in that middle of that park, you cannot move. You kind of run on it, and I thought the three of them grafted, and uh, I thought that gave with the momentum because they they're a good side, and it didn't give them the chance to get the ball at Dean's feet, or get the ball wide and get the ball in. So the three midfield players, I, I thought were absolutely outstanding. Like. And as you keep setting targets for this this young side, and, and they keep hitting them, how far can they go in your eyes? Well, we're nowhere near as 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 good as we should be. Um, you know, we need to be consistent, and we're starting to get that now. I think that's. Four, four wins in January in a, in a draw, you know. Um, they're, they're a great bunch of lads, and uh, you know what I think the supporters don't appreciate, or they might appreciate, is that the, the graft. They never stop. And um, first half, you've got to defend, you know. Against good sides, you will defend for long periods. And I thought they were superb. I thought the the shield of the, uh, the two midfield players shielded the back four really well. We really, um, got near a nipper, um, which which helped nipper a lot. And I thought Dale was. I was starting and I thought Watson put a shift in. So I think every one of them was superb. Subs come off the park, off the bench, and were just as good, you know. So great squad, great squad um, performance, and great to do with home, you know. Your coaching staff have quite regularly said that this place is a fortress, and this is probably the biggest victory here so far. How important have uh, has Croft Park itself and, and the Green Army been so far? Well, it's it's huge, you know. They've always been in, in numbers, you know. But, you know, we're not getting the five fifties, six hundred used to get, but we're getting the three thirties, four, uh, three, three fifties, hardcore supporters, and they really are hardcore, and they really do support the side. And there's going to be ups and downs. They're going to get frustrated like we are. Um, you know, people do lose the football, and what we see before every game, you're going to lose the football, just get it back. And I think that's the philosophy that we take in the game. Well, we're going to lose it. You know, we're not we're not professional footballers. We're going to lose the ball. But we, we, we do get it back, you know, and we get it back with energy and enthusiasm, you know. Your final question, you've gone into the dressing room straight after full time. What's the atmosphere like in there? It, it, it's great because it's like they believe now. Um, I think they've always believed that they're a good side, um, but they believe now that, that, that they shouldn't in this league on merit, you know. Every, one of, every player is good enough to play at this level. And a lot of them, um, you know, come from a lot lower down, you know. Two of them come from Seton Delaware, Wade in, in, in Maguire. Um, you know, Park has come from playing reserve football for Bishop Auckland. They've just come from nowhere, you know. And it just goes to show if you give young kids a chance and believe in them, it does work, yeah.